the pressure is of course more at the national team because you have less chances to win the World Cup. When you play a World Cup like we did four years ago, it's not that easy to deal with it because you know that you don't have that many chances in your career as a football player. My first memories I have are in 2006, uh, the World Cup at Germany. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a bit in the movie. Yeah, you you're watching with your with your friends, with your with your family in front of the TV. I remember the most uh, the game uh, Germany against Argentina because I was there in, in Berlin um, with uh, some friends and uh, with my father. Yeah, we were on the, the big fan mile, uh, it's called in Germany, where everybody is uh, watching the games uh, on the streets. And so this was really big, uh, really huge um, for me as a, as a little kid. Um, yeah, I, I remember this, this game the most and of course um, against Italy I, I watched uh, at home yeah it was it was really special and uh, really tough for the emotions for the feelings we were there in the training camp with uh, RB Leipzig and followed it <laughs> yeah, especially the semi-finals were crazy and Germany are into the World Cup final. This kind of games not happening often. Um, maybe we had not the same game, but uh, against Barcelona it was also really, really crazy. This is ridiculous. It's eight. This it's is ridiculous. Eight and it's absolutely embarrassing for Barcelona. Normally you don't have these games in this, yeah, these big situations. Um, yeah, when you played then in the second division, um, this big dream yeah, is, is closer to you. Um, you can you can feel it different. Um, I played for the German under 21. You get more the feeling that you're able to achieve it. You don't think about uh, to win the World Cup. You you think about okay. I want to become a professional football player. I want to play in the first league. I want to play for for a big, big club. Um, and this time, I couldn't imagine to play for Bayern Munich or, or for the national team. But I always dreamed really, really big. And when you see the guys celebrating a World Cup, of course, you also want to to celebrate a big title. And this is the the biggest title you can win as a as a football player. It's not enough to to have great players. Um, I think in this time we we had amazing players. We won the the Confed Cup before, and so I thought that the the mix in the team um, could be outstanding because we have this experienced player and uh, players and the players with a lot of talent and um, yeah with a with a lot of uh, potential. But it's not enough to just have great players. You have to fixed together and as well you know about your your weaknesses and um, I think we were not that strong as a team we were strong as individual players but not yeah we didn't work as a team and um, this is the thing I learned after this tournament Germany will be expected they've never failed to progress from the group stage oh it must be Another 
go here. This will be it. Song Hyung Min. 2-0. That is it. But their World Cup is over. They are bottom of the group. They've lost two group games for the first time in history. I was completely quiet. So we we knew what we did there. Um, how big the, the disappointment is for the for the people, for the German people, of course for us, but um, also for for our families, for our fans. I think for for the whole world, it was um, <laughs> yeah, it was crazy that we that we went out at, at this time um, out of the group. I think we were the last in our group. Um, so the disappointment yeah, was crazy and really, really big. So everybody was in a dressing room and um, yeah, everything was, was just quiet. Um, some players just said that um, no, it's not not intelligent to, to go out to the press and um, shoot against uh, your teammates. So it's important to, to stand together. It was huge. I, I don't remember the, the words or I don't know everything um, because afterwards for me it was really important to to come out um, to yeah to make holiday i didn't follow the world cup afterwards um, i remember that i was with my girlfriend in in south africa so <laughs> was uh, yeah just just coming away from from the tournament also from the press from the from the people um, I had to think about something else because it was really, really tough for me. Um, I told you before, um, as a football player, you don't have the chance to win the World Cup every year. And I, I knew this in this moment that uh, you don't have a lot of chances. And so it was, it was really, really tough to handle with it. It was uh, impossible to, <laughs> to enjoy the, ho the holiday. I think it was horrible for my, for my girlfriend. <laughs> but for me, it was, a, it was a tough time. I think it was the, the first big disappointment. To lose uh, without even being close to the title is, uh, yeah, is even harder. It took weeks um, <laughs> to recover. Um, I needed this holiday just uh, to recover mentally, not, not physically. It was mentally really, really tough. Um, I remember the German national team just in the, always in the semi-finals. And uh, since I'm there, uh, we are going out um, really, really early. Yeah, and these are now six years. Um, we just uh, performed in the qualification and uh, not at the tournament. And, I hope we can change this now. Thomas said in an interview, um, normally in Germany you don't have a lot of uh, Ballon d'Or players, but uh, normally you have this strong team and this is why Germany is really strong at the tournaments. And West Germany have won the World Cup. Good shot! We have to come back to this, that we have uh, a strong team that we work together, that we work for our teammate, and um, then we can be successful at the tournament. And um, I think to become special as a team, you develop this feeling during the, the tournament. I don't think that uh, Germany always came to the tournament and uh, felt ready and felt like, okay, we can win the cup. The feeling and um, this, this team spirit uh, develops uh, during the tournament and uh, hopefully with wins and um, yeah, good games.
the 222 FIFA World Cup is Qatar. We all know that everybody is uh, discussing about the, the World Cup, um, about Qatar. And um, of course for us it was really important to say something. I think we cannot close our, our eyes and um, yeah, play like there are no, no problems ahead. So yeah, there are a lot of questions with the sustainability or with the, with the human rights there, especially for the workers. Um, the climate, uh, I think it's different um, than at the tournaments before. Um, yeah, there are a lot of a lot of topics um, we have to speak about. We had a lot of discussing rounds uh, with the national team um, where we had some, some experts and there was one athlete who had, uh, was there, two, 2019, um, there was a World Cup um, for the athletics um, and he told us a bit about the conditions there, um, especially with the media. He, he told us that he was afraid to, to tell the truth. Um, he told us that the, the climate was yeah, unbelievable for him. It was impossible to, to reach his highest level. We spoke a lot of times about it um, and I think it is nothing new. So they, they knew about it uh, 12 years ago. They award the World Cup uh, to Qatar and I think um, there is the the biggest problem. Maybe there is less happiness and, and joy before this really big, big, big tournament. Some people uh, speak about a boycott or, or something else. And um, yeah, you always have to find the balance um, between preparing on this, on this uh, big tournament and also we want to enjoy it and on the other side to show that there are some, some problems. Of course, this is also our responsibility. I know that we have uh, less time, uh, really less time. We just have one week. Um, we have one, one friendly game, but uh, I think three or four days after the, the last game, so, like I said, it's not possible to, to recover a bit, to relax a bit. It will be different. Um, I don't know yet if it's better or not. <laughs> I think everybody or all the players are in a good shape. It's during the season, nobody has to, has to prepare or make uh, extra preparation um, for the World Cup because it's not possible. Um, so I think the level could be really high at the beginning or when you're not that experienced you just focus on your own own performance but um, yeah, you're more responsible for the for the whole team for me i think in the past we we talk too much about the the title because we are unfortunately far away from it the expectations are a bit smaller, I think, because we didn't play really well um, in the past. Um, but I always keep uh, the title in my mind. I, I always dream big, but but now the focus is really on the on the group and especially at the first game. I don't think that uh, when I'm looking back in, in ten years that I say uh, maybe it was not a perfect career because I didn't win the the big trophy. I know or I learned in my career that it's not everything to, to just win these big titles. So I think it's more important to be, to be happy, to enjoy playing football, to, to be happy coming here. I think this is at the end more important for your feeling, for your life then win the big titles. But like I said, it is a, a big goal and I want to do everything um, to win the World Cup.